adoption of the hand in hand approach at FAO corporate level happened at an opportune time for FAO Ethiopia. Because in 2020, the government of Ethiopia finalized its 10 year development plan 2020 2030. The UN is developing the cooperation framework 2021 2025, and FAO Ethiopia, we are preparing our country programming framework for 21 25. All the plans demonstrate that the government of Ethiopia and partners' commitment to ending hunger and reducing poverty, key objective of the Hand in Hand initiative. In line with the priorities and challenges outlined in the country 10 year development plan, FAO Ethiopia, in consultation with the government, decided to focus on supporting the integrated agro-industrial park. The idea of launching the Hand in Hand initiative in Ethiopia was discussed with senior officials in the Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Agriculture. It was received positively and with a lot of enthusiasm. A number of potential initiatives were considered before settling to start with leveraging FAO Ethiopia's work around the government flag flagship integrated agro-industrial parks. The country office is also using the hand-in-hand -hand initiative approach to maximize benefit of its ongoing work in support of the implementation of the livelihood component of the government social protection component. FAO Ethiopia engage extensively with the Regional Office for Africa and with headquarters, culminating in the setting up of a broad-based task force to support the conceptualization of the first hand-in-hand -hand initiative in Ethiopia and support the agro-commodities procurement zone. The hand-in-hand -hand initiative is different from approaches used before to support the development of the Ethiopia Agro Commodity Procurement Zone. Notable differences are an enhanced multi-sectoral development focus. From the onset, the program design includes the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Peace, Ministry of Trade, and other stakeholders such as the Ethiopian Economic Association. The initiative also links two of the country flagship programs, the Growth and Transformation and the Social Protection Program. Therefore, this initiative has the scope to demonstrate the possibility of inclusive economic growth pathway. The current design is considering the interest of the poor and vulnerable from the start a significant change from the design of the past agro-commodities procurement zone that focused on commercial vi viability. Stronger collaboration within FAO, instead of usually relying on one lead technical unit, the initiative is supported by different departments, offering an opportunity to capitalize on the wealth of experience within the organization. And last, adopting the food system approach helped to reflect the food security and nutrition concern in the design of the Hand in Hand initiative in an integral manner. The initiatives offer FAO Ethiopia an opportunity to strengthen partnership with other line ministries and government agencies, such as the Economic Association that I just mentioned, Ministry of Peace, Ministry of Trade. There is a strong positive energy behind this initiative, with FAO staff across departments working together at all levels to support the country office. The decision to select an intervention was not easy, given the substantial support provided by the various departments on all the ideas we consider. The major takeaway is that when the rich and extensive knowledge within the organization is connected with the field program, it is possible to design better programs, provide stronger policy support, 
to change the lives and livelihoods of rural people. FAO will continue the consultative and advocacy process with the main stakeholder. We will finalize the proposal and start the implementation of the program. Ethiopia has many technical and financial partners and a strong political will to implement programs that end hunger and reduce poverty. Although the country registered double-digit economic growth since 2004, the growth is not equitable. Hence, the country is off track regarding eradicating poverty, Sustainable Development Goal 1 and Sustainable Development Goal 2, ending hunger and all forms of malnutrition. It is too early to give recommendation. However, countries in similar context should start advo advocating for the initiative with senior government officials and most importantly, identify potential entry points. Government leadership and ownership are vital. The initiative is aimed at strengthening the government of Ethiopia capacity to carry out agricultural investment, planning and promotion, therefore catalyzing on investment. The country office anticipates that FAO at all levels will continue to support the government of Ethiopia investment drive, leveraging the expected result of the hand-in-hand -hand initiative.